you might want to think about having this done. If you've gone through the rigmarole of having rats for years and years, this is a service that we supply. It's the loft sanitation service that we do. It's a big old job. This is why you might want to. I've just spent the last 10 minutes taking these boards up. This has got the insulation out already. We've already taken all the insulation out everywhere else. We're still gonna do a lot of hoovering. Uh, we've got to do a lot of cleaning. But let's have a look what we find underneath here. So this is what's going on in your insulation. So don't forget if you've had rats for years and years and years, let me show you what could be going on. Hidden away from sight. And I think that one caught as well. Lean it against them. There we go. Okay, so this was once all pristine Tunnel. insulation. I don't know they want to, uh, do you want to give me your torch and I'll light it up as we go? Yeah. So these are all little separate nests. This is all some plastic bags that the rats have bought in. It's come from that over there, the water tank. <laughs> oh yes, they've chewed that off the water tank. And then, so these are all the little tunnel systems that they've built. And as the populations have grown, you can see where they've been taking poison. This wasn't a job that we'd done, but you can see where they've been eating the grain here, that blue colouring. That's off some poisonous grain that someone's put down. Yeah, you can see here as well. There's all the insulation balls that were in the in the cavity walls, and these rats will have been coming out of the sewers, I would no doubt. Like I say, it's just something you might want to think of. Um, we won't do this until we make sure that we've got rid of your rats, basically, because this is a major horrible job. Once we've finished taking everything out of here, we hoover it from top to bottom. And then what we do is we spray it with a special biocide, which basically kills all scent trails because it gets rid of all the bacteria, protozoa, viruses, you name it, it kills it. And then we'll put your insulation back down for you if you want as well, like we'll do on this one. So just something to think about. I'm going to show them that rat over there. Oh, right there. I should have put that in one of the tunnels, shouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> and here's, here's something we found in one of the tunnels over there. <laughs> it's an old rat. <laughs> Lovely thing, isn't it? And as we've been pulling out the insulation I was just showing you, this is actually the nest look. This is the old nest. It's back quite a way. Quite a way. And here we have what we call a latrine point underneath here. Millions and millions of droppings, and I'll just keep going to exactly the same place and then hiding their little poos away until you get these piles of poo. But we're going to hoover it all up now and put it in the skip. So here we are, now we've got all the insulation out, all the droppings, mouse droppings, rat droppings, everything. You can still see there's a little bit of stainage from the rat's urine and things like that, but we've sprayed with a biocide now, which kills all the. Uh, bacteria and fungus and everything else that, that was growing in here which in turn creates scent trails it's actually the stuff itself doesn't actually smell it's the bacteria that's in the poo and the urine that smells so when we kill the bacteria it doesn't smell anymore but we've got it all up anyway so the next thing is i'm gonna get this brand new fresh insulation in let's get on uh. And that is one loft sanitation done and all the insulation in it. Lovely, clean and not a rat dropping or a mouse dropping in sight. Don't forget, have a look at our loft sanitation page on our website.